to your eyes Makes my heart come alive Suddenly brought to life when I met you Reaching beyond the skies Running deep, stretching wide Perfect love realized Here with you Come on now Now the shot is for real You will never let go Never let go Oh, it's more than just words Love beyond my control Out of control What's up? This is real love This is real love Welcome back to Grace Kids Online with Teacher Sherry and Teacher Lendl. Hey everybody. Today's lesson is about salvation. So in our Bibles, we're going to go to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Teacher Lendl, can you take us to that scripture? Cool, no problem. So I got my Bible. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn to the contents page. Are there two Corinthians? Yes. Oh, there's first and second. Don't go to the wrong Corinthians. Where is Corinthians? The, uh, the Old Testament or New Testament, right? New Testament. But I'm sure you know by now. So we're going to the New Testament. So once you're there, you're going to find the big number 5 and the small 17 in the verse, okay? So 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 tells us, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So Grace Kids, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 basically tells us about salvation. Salvation. Our new life in Christ can be likened to the radical transformation of a destructive caterpillar that changes into a beautiful butterfly when it is set free to fly instead of crawl. And as it touches each flower, it spreads its pollen. 
However, for this miraculous transformation to take place, the caterpillar has to die, just as our old life of sin has to die. What we're going to do now, we're going to draw a caterpillar and a butterfly. Okay? So. We're going to see whose caterpillar looks cooler. Teacher Sherry can't really draw, but anyway, wish me luck. How does caterpillar look? It's like a worm. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm just going to do like a whole lot of circles and join them together. Right? Not your dad, howdy guys, but just a pool. It should get probably smaller, right? And then a caterpillar has some eggs. One day, one day, one day. I'm going to give my caterpillar too high. Okay. Wow, well, life's good. That was one major difference. How's yours looking here? <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I'm done with my caterpillar. Uh, mine's just green. Well, your caterpillar can be any color you want it to be. Okay, I'm gonna do Our butterflies. Okay, guys, you can then draw your butterfly once you're done with your caterpillar. Okay. I'll try the light. Okay, guys, make sure you make your butterflies' wings nice and big. In the same place? Yep. And you can decorate with anything you want to. I'm putting hearts on my caterpillar's wings. Because my caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my butterfly. My butterfly is all about love. My wings are not okay. I think you might win the, the, the butterfly. Maybe. <laughs> How does the butterfly come? Um, it's like a bee. Oh, okay. It goes into a cocoon for a period of time. And when it comes out, it has these beautiful big wings. And then it can fly. Okay, are you done? I'm almost done. Teacher Lennon takes very long to draw. Cool. Okay, guys. And that is our caterpillars and our butterflies. Thank you. Well done, Teacher Lendl. Very well. My caterpillars are happy. Mine wasn't so happy until it was born again, and now it's a very beautiful, happy butterfly. Okay, guys. So I want us to remember about when we think of salvation, we think about the butterfly and how it turned into a beautiful butterfly that touches different flowers and leaves pollen. Okay, so let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God, thank you for blessing us with another day. Thank you for our family and friends and keeping us safe. Help us as we grow and evolve into beautiful butterflies and we touch people's lives. May we share your love just like the butterfly touches each flower and spreads its pollen. We love you, Father. Amen. Till next time, Grace Kids. Bye.